truthfully, the animals prefer this weather. Yeah. And they really love the snow. Oh, they do? Oh my gosh, the, the wolves love the snow. Huh. For them, it's the best if the, when the um, pond freezes over, you can see them, they sleep out on the pond. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll curl up on the pond and just go to sleep. And if it snows, sometimes if the snow is, accumulates enough, you just see the little lumps out on the middle of the pond and underneath those lumps is a wolf. <laughs> they love it. So actually, if I could get you to step back just a little bit, Nico gets a little unsure of the cameras. It's not his favorite, but he also thinks that that big furry uh, mic is potentially something that he should have and possibly kill. Food-wise, what do they eat? Like, what do you have to provide for these animals on a daily basis? Okay. Like, are wolves, like, are they, do they eat plants or do they want meat? <laughs> oh, they want their meat. They do. So not all of our animals are car carnivores, but the wolves definitely are. And they love their meat. And most of our meat actually comes from um, roadkill. We have actually a permit to go out and collect roadkill. Oh, good. And uh, it's not legal to do that without it. Yeah. Um, but we go out and we collect roadkill and we process it and make sure it's safe. And then uh, we feed that out. That's the bulk of their diet. Yeah. And then we supplement that with um, some other meat as well. But right. the bulk of their diet is deer. And that's representative of what the wolves in Indiana would have eaten right. in Indiana when they were here. And bison, are they? Herbivores. So, Herbivores, okay. Yes, so yeah. they uh, they love to eat the, the grass um, and they are kind of like a cat in that they are always on the wrong side of the fence, whatever field that we have them in, because we do rotate them through the field yeah. so that they don't overgraze. Or in their case, they don't really overgraze, but they will stomp the grass just by being around. So we try to move them, but when we move them into one field, they really like it until we shut the gate and then they're like, oh no, no, we want to be over there. <laughs> so they're really funny that way. But we also give them treats. We give them um, like, uh, try to keep it healthy, uh, mostly like carrots and leafy greens. That's um, a treat A lot for of them? cabbage, yeah, they love that. Yeah. And that's what we'll use when we're hand feeding them. Sometimes some apples, they, they have a bit of a sweet tooth on some on occasion. Uh, they look like they're, um, they're like, oh, maybe they're gonna, Give us a treat. Look at, they're all looking over <laughs> yeah. here. Like, yes, are they <laughs> are, and we may. So that's right. And a good way to tell the difference between the two is a very good way to tell the difference between the two. If you look at her horns, they're curved in like yeah. a C shape, and we say C for cow. And the males, their horns, they go straight up, kind of like goalposts. Oh. So you can tell the difference between the males and the females by looking at their horns. Uh, can we talk temperament? Now, the temperament of, of a bison is different than the temperament of a wolf, yes? Y yes, yeah. absolutely. Are they ornery, these, these bison? Uh, so I would say that those bison are the most dangerous animals we have is here right? at Wolf Park. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> we will go full free contact, meaning there's no barrier between us and the wolves when we're doing training sessions. Yeah. But we only work with the bison either through the fence or from the back of a truck. We're never on the ground with the bison. Because th they'll... Because they are... Uh, uh, basically a Toyota Camry sized animal that can change its mind or get spooked in the in in a blink of an eye yeah and uh, they are way faster than we are really yeah. yeah so we like to say don't don't pet the fluffy cows really leave them alone <laughs> well and enjoy them from a distance <laughs> right look that's at, right look at them over there <laughs> over there <laughs>